Hello everyone and welcome back to another lesson of Arabic language. This is lesson number 11, the last lesson in the alphabets. But there is still more. There are special letters that are not considered in the alphabets. They are just a variation of the alphabets. Which I will do maybe three more videos or two. We'll see. Anyway, for today's lesson we have the last final three letters of the alphabets and they're relatively mm, easy to me you might say so the first letter is for today is the letter ha ha it's like the h in english is ha which i know a lot of europeans french and spanish people would have difficulties in saying it but uh, anyway the letter is ha. This is the shape, or one of the shapes. I actually like to write this letter a lot because I don't know there's so many ways to write it. So let's just start with this one. This is the normal letter you'd say, and it's the ha. The, the pronunciation is ha, is like the H in English. Now, with alamat al tashkil, that would be ha who he ha who he I hope that was clear let's move on to how you write it this is the fun part because I'm going to show you a lot of ways to write this letter let's see at the beginning of the word I'll go to the for um, I'll go with a normal way of writing it, which is usually like this. You see a bigger loop, there is a small loop that connects to the bigger loop, and you go. There you go. This is in the beginning. In the middle, you can do the same. Like that, then like this, and continue. In the end, it's different. It's totally different. In the end, it's usually like this. You go up, you go a bit down, just a bit, and you curve it like this. Looks like a horse. Anyway, horse head. So, uh, this is the ha, this is the first way of writing it. Let's see a different way of writing it. Well, at the beginning, you could also be a bit fancy and do it like this. It's actually the same, just a bit fancier. Or, yeah, well, in the beginning, I would write it just like that. So, uh, in the middle of the word, I can also do the same thing as I did here. Or, which is more common in hand handwriting, is that you go down just like this, and you connect it. You see this, this shape? It's actually something like this. Again. So, that's not all. Also in the middle there's the the one that looks like a tie, which is interesting. You can do it like this. Did you see that? Should I repeat that? Um, I guess. So, and the, another way to write it in the middle is like that. Or just like this, or the normal way, which is you go like that. So this is different ways of writing it in the beginning, uh, in the middle of the word. At the end of the word, I showed you this way. A fast way would be like this, and generally just people would say would say like this. However, it depends on the ha handwriting. But usually, I would do it like this. So you can use that if you want. This is a traditional one. So, going back and continuing with the le letters. Oh, I'm running out of time. So, the next letter is the letter WOW. 
Yeah, wow. Yeah, you say that a lot in English. But it's actually a name of a letter in Arabic. Wow. It's like that. It's just um, a loop and a half or a quarter of a circle curve. This is the letter wow. It's pronounced like the W in English. Ooh. Oops, that's too much. Uh, so it's like the W in English. So the letter wow. Now, where the alamat al tashkil to be wa, wu, we, wa, wu, we. Now, let's see how we write that in a word. In a word, this would be in the beginning, like so, just normally, and you would leave a gap, just like the ra. It's similar to the way you connect the ra and the dal. So, like that, small gap, then whatever follows. Or, uh, sorry, and in the middle, it would be also like the wow and the dal, which is something from the front. You draw the letter, then you leave a small gap and write whatever comes next. And in the end, it's just similar, just connected from the front, nothing behind it. So, this is how you write it. And uh, uh, how do you write the wow? Now we're going to the, the last letter in the alphabet, which is the ya. Yeah. Okay, so. The name of the letter is ya, ya, and the pronunciation is ya. It's similar to the y in English. Okay, so we call this the duck or the goose or whatever. This is how you write it. This is the letter ya. The pronunciation is ya, u, yi, ya. You, ye. So this is the letter ya. How would I write that in a word? Okay, so in a word, this will be written as it is written uh, as you write the ba, the ta, the tha, and the noon in the beginning. And it's just like that, but two dots under. And you continue. And then you have in the middle, which is just a small P, but two dots under. And in the end, it's like so. Oops. Just two dots. So something coming from the front, then you actually like connect it, go as if you're drawing the normal letter, and connect two dots. And uh, put on the two dots, sorry, under. So, this is the last letter of the alphabet. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll go for a recap. <laughs> so, today we learned the letter Ha. Wow. Yeah. That's it. Now we're done with the alphabets. I will have the special um, letters, which are related to the alphabets but are not considered independent letters um, next I think I'll, I'll be covering that in one or two videos maybe three if I need okay so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed it and good night